Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2 Episode 14. We're going to be doing things a little bit different this time. We're going to stage select because we're going right to the Chow world. Because guess what? Our little guy, our little Dark Chow guy, that is, is finally going to get his name. Woo! Now, I have uh, looked over all of, of your uh, suggestions. I love them all. In fact, I'm probably going to do a little segment at the end where I uh, read some of my favorites. You know, just, just, just a couple few. But, uh... We're gonna call our little guy Shithy. Now, you told me about this name, and when you said it out loud, it's like, yeah, okay, what's the joke? Uh, then you spell it. Shithy. Oh, cute little Shithy. The reason why we chose Stage Select is because we need to actually leave the Chow world to give him his name. Gotcha. But if you were to do it, uh, just doing it in story mode, we'd just save and go right back to the game after we left, which is. Kind of dumb, I think, but whatever. So we got Dejime and Shithy. Dejime and Shithy. We'll go to the fortune teller, and uh, we'll give the fortune teller a couple chances to give him to give him a name about as good as Dejime, because Dejime would like completely came out of left field for me. So what do you got? First off is Melody. <laughs> no, that's, that does not look like a Melody. All right, so how about Dixie? Oh, come on. You had, you had your chance. All right. So, <laughs> Shithy. Here we go. It fits within the character limit, and the game is none the wiser. Shithy! Perfect! Shithy. It is a good name. I wish Shithy a happy life with a name like Shithy. And it's a good thing its last name initial is D. Oh, look, he's so happy about it. Shithy D? <laughs> hey, yo, what's up? My name's Shithy D. <laughs> I didn't think it could get better. <laughs> and it did. It got better. <laughs> Deji May versus Shithy D. Well, I mean, if you say their names that close together, it's like, uh, Shithy Dejime. Put it all in one big line of letters. Shithy Dejime sounds like some ridiculous bullet hell shooter. <laughs> yes! The newest iteration of Toho! Shithy Dejime. Nigatsu. Shithead Ejime. <laughs> Here you go, you little Shithy. Shithy. So again, thank you for all your suggestions. I had, I had some really, really good ones, but Shithy just came to me in a dream. I had to go with Destiny. Oh, I should have called it Destiny, but that was a boring and such a boring name. That's what the D stands for, motherfucker. <laughs> the Shithy Destiny. Shithy Destiny. What's up, Shithy D? All right, so that's Shithy D. Shithy Destiny. Shithy Destiny at Dejime. Dejime is gonna be our hero chow. Shithy... <laughs> Shithy D! Shithy D is going to be our dark chow, but now we're gonna get back to the story. Okay, good. We, we, we gotta get back to the story. We just had ourselves an Eggman level. Because he's uh, going back to his base, he's gonna head, be heading back to Ark now, where he's gonna be uh, sitting on his master plan with Shadow. Now I'm wondering, I, I was just reading a little tidbit here, Shadow wants him to bring him, wants Eggman to bring him a Chaos Emerald, and he doesn't see this as possibly bad. Chaos Emerald. Well, he's evil! Well, I know, but if- And this is, this is like his grandfather's legacy, so it's like, if anybody's gonna do it, it's gonna be fucking me, whatever it is. Okay, but, but I'm just thinking, you know, if you really think about this, you got something that's supposedly the ultimate life form. At least that's what he's called. And he's asking for a Chaos Emerald. I better get him a fucking Chaos Emerald. Well... I guess if you do want to cause mayhem and destruction, you're gonna to want to... ...hire the strongest dude for the job. Especially if it's this guy. So where does the giant moon laser come in? Well, we haven't set up the cannon yet. We need to get six of the seven Chaos Emeralds. Hmm. So right now we have, like... 
one or two right now, but we're gonna get us some more. I think that's what Shadow's in trouble for. How pathetic. By the way, flashback. Oh, good. Backstory. Yes. Mario! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, people look weird in Sonic games. Not only that, they sound weird, too. Eggman's grandpa's daughter, or whatever. It's just a guess, by the way. No, you're right. Damn it! Sayonara! Maria Robotnik. Oh, shoot. Yeah, is it, man. Is that a spoiler for later? No, it's... I think it's actually in the instruction booklet, so... Okay. I, don't think, I don't think it's doing anything. Ivo... Uh, yeah, Gerald Robotnik and Maria Robotnik in a photo together, so it's like... I guess Maria should be important. Anyway, so Shadow's first stage. Let's get hey, this going. Cool. Woo. Oh my God, he goes fast. He's wearing skates. Okay. They're not skates. They're rocket shoes. <laughs> Even better. It makes him cool. Yeah, cool and edgy for the kids. Yeah, but his edginess was at a minimum this time around. I think. Good. That'll probably make me at least tolerate him. If anything, he's even edgier in Sonic Heroes than anything else. <laughs> the game that we all love! Yo, oh, yes. <laughs> we all love it. I was about to say, what's this perspective? We'll go ahead, but, uh, missing something back here. Hmm? What's this? Oh, hey! Huh. Oh, Shadow gets the light dash. We don't have the light dash, though, and we're not gonna get <sighs> until the next stage. Darn it. Well, I guess we're coming back. We are coming back. That's how this works. Sonic Heroes, Sonic no, we don't do that. Oh <laughs> uh, wow, this is this is really cool. See, I don't mind these games when you're just going on stage and going fast. It's just all the other crap that kind of annoys me. Whoa, this is kind of cool. I mean, I know that, that was basically on autopilot, but that was still yeah, but when cool. you go. I think when you go auto autopilot, that means you're loading the next section so it transitions smoothly. You're giving the player time to rest and be like, okay, okay, all right. And you're also giving them something to look at. It's like, oh, that's, that's pretty neat. So it's kind of like a period and then an indent for the next paragraph, you know what I mean? Ah, fuck! Now, what I'm thinking is a, a Sega executive is going to see this video because clearly they watch YouTube videos and they're going to go, that son of a bitch, you figured it out! <laughs> I'm just, right uh, claim. Take the shit down! No, I'm not trying to, like, make any sort of <laughs> slander or anything. I'm just making some ideas here, you know? I'm just like, shooting the shit, guys. It's like, how did he know? Oh, look at that, it's a hedgehog. Aw, oh, how does that work? Fucking meta, man. So are these, like, all mutants? Or, like, monsters or something like that? I know. Like, I'll name him Meta the Hedgehog. <sighs> Oh, fuck! Oh, you fool! That would've got me so much time. Mm. Wait, did we... We did a stage like this, but not this exact stage. It was Mission Street. It was a, it was a Tails stage. That's right, it was one of those boring stages where you play as Tails. This but... is also kind of a mix between that and City Escape 2 in some regard, like uh, these things. Hut, 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 hut. Nice! Yeah! Oh. Yeah! Oh. I thought we were actually gonna go grinding down that thing. I'm just looking around here because there's a pipe here that where we can get an extra animal. But it doesn't want to work. Wait, where? Right right oh. there. Oh, I didn't even see that. It's hiding, and I can't really get it. Ah oh, well. Yeah, it probably died ages ago. Not important. Oh, Jesus, I messed oh, this up! Oh, oh, oh. What? <laughs> How did that work? That was close. All right, I'm going safe. Boo, you're going the safe route? Oh, all right. That was anything but safe, tell you what. <laughs> so, a little bit more, uh, more edgy, more dangerous. Just like the dark side. There's being edgy, then there's being careless. And we're both. Go Team Shadow! 
Yeah, this is the real shadow, mind you. Everything else you see up until later is a clone. Wait, really? So put that in your tea and smoke it. Or whatever you do with tea. Wait, really? Yeah, really. So, like, Shadow the Hedgehog or just in this story? Shadow the Hedgehog in Shadow the Hedgehog is a clone. Shadow the Hedgehog in Sonic Heroes is a clone. Shadow the Hedgehog in Sonic Adventure 2 is a real fucking thing that they made. So, does that mean Shadow dies in this game? Oh, you figured it out. Well, I mean, it's supposedly good on my part, but... Really? Clones? They had to bring him back? Oh, right at the end! I was doing so well. Here we go. God, that's gotta be terrible. Well, the uh, real Shadow sucks. Oh, I'm getting flashbacks. Sucks. Flashbacks to Sonic 06, where I was so close to getting an S rank on the first stage of Sonic, and then I fell through the floor. But if I was faster, I would fucking get an A rank. Mm -hmm. I think those rings would have given you an A. To be honest, I'm just, getting, I'm just getting bitter every time I see these fucking results <laughs> screens. See, that's the that's the crazy thing about all these scoring systems. What? Like, the Sonic games now are like they've got random pitfalls everywhere. They are made to aggravate they the players because they're just dying for no good reason. Containing the ultimate power. That's the chaos emerald. <sighs> We've all seen this cutscene before, I'm sure, but now it's from Shadow's point of view, sort of. Look at my super fast shoes. And you, know why his, you know why his shoes look like that, right? Oh, speed dash. But like why his shoes look different than they normally do. This is the only game where his shoes like look all nice and spazzy and cool. Uh, advanced graphical power of the Dreamcast. Sega struck a deal with a shoe manufacturer called Soap. No way. And you see soap advertisements everywhere, don't you? Oh, God. Oh, it's an advertisement. This is an advertisement game. Well, hey... Look at Blaze Blue. Didn't that uh, didn't that advertise for some uh, fucking Taylor Company? I don't know. They, they're called this, so yeah. But you know, <laughs> I went over my head, but sure. It's more to this game than you thought. Now we're back to Rouge. Oh yes. Doing the replay of the Knuckles stage, and well, this one, yeah, it pretty much is the same. Oh, this one? Yeah, s pr same location, same oh, idea man. where you gotta get the three keys. It's separated <sighs> into a red, blue, green. Oh, no. But there are a few little minor differences. There is some death scarab kind of going around. And, oh, uh, well, okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, th so this level is... Scarab. Uh, there's like a death scarab going around that's sort of acting as security for the place, and if it sees you... You don't get away fast enough, you're just gonna take damage and eat shit. Oh, oh look at this. Alright, look at this. It looks like mm. there's no treasure here. No treasure, but it does look nice. God, one day I will tell you what those do. <laughs> but when, UDJ? Why are you keeping me in suspense? Uh, thank you, random viewer. I am doing this because I want to keep you in suspense. Green. The reason I want to keep you in suspense is I want to keep you in suspense. Yes. Oh, okay. That's, Green. I'm, I'm done. Cut, cut it, print it, sell it. Yeah. <laughs> VJ 2016. Just imagine if other companies actually did that. It's like, so, so when's the new iPhone coming out? It's like when it comes out. Uh huh? Yeah, hey, they stop caring about the customers that much. It's like, uh, m maybe you can suck my dick and you'll get a release date, huh? <laughs> Just like, hey, if you do me a do me a favor or two, yeah, I'll tell you whatever you want. Specs? Mm -hmm. Oh, he better take off that top then, sweet cheeks. <laughs> I mean, not to be condescending, sweetheart, but uh, please <laughs> do this favor. Oh, 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 oh! oh, oh. There it is. All right. hey, awesome. Now, yeah, here we go. Pick nails. <laughs> Before you ask, they go on the back of her boot. And this is how she uses to. This is how she digs. <laughs> that is the stupidest name. Pick nails. Pick nails. It's just like, ooh, I, I got some crud. Oh, my 
fingertips is here. Let me get that. Let me use my pick nails. Pick nails. I'd rather choose bolts. <laughs> this, is, this is so dumb. Please tell me that was like some localization error, and it's actually like like Armageddon Digger or something like that. Well, well, it makes sense. They're they're nails that go into the back of your boots, you know, and it works like a pick in which you use to dig. Well, I was just thinking, like, as soon as I heard that, like, pick nails, it's just like, you would have them on maybe your fingertips, so you could, like, unlock doors with them, it's like a lock pick or something like that, but no, it's just on the back of your boots, so you can dig. <laughs> yeah, Rouge gets gigantic core nails on her fingers. <laughs> That's how she uses to dig. Come <laughs> here, darling! Let me unlock your heart! Um, sir, I have a concern that Rouge might be a little over-sexualized for a children's game. Mm. Just, just maybe. Can we, uh, I mean, uh, we, we can keep the boobs. That's fine. But can we uh, get rid of uh, maybe uh, the whore nails and? Uh, ah, maybe, she's hot. She's perfect. Maybe, she's modeled maybe, after my wife. Maybe take off the makeup a little bit. Um, ah, are you kidding me? That's a, we need to appeal to every demographic. All right, we got the kids for Sonic Tales or whatever the fuck. But now we need to get the adults but, in here. People who but, love sexy bats. But, but sir, what was a bat need with Botox? Well, let me tell you, that with Botox, is fucking beautiful. Is that really the message you want to? Uh, well, all right. Fucking Maybe. beautiful. Print the damn thing. Maybe you'll direct the next Sonic game. I'll call it Sonic Heroes. It'll be great. We'll put it on the next generation of consoles. Yeah, Sonic Heroes, the game where it's the same game four times. <laughs> First, Sonic it's the fir Hero, Sonic. first it's the Sonic game, and then they do the dark side where it's hard. It's the same Sonic game, but it's harder. Then they do the Team Rose playthrough where it's oh, the Jesus. same game, but it's easier. Oh god, then, I forgot about that. And then they do Team Chaotix where it's the same game, but fucking it's stupider. fucking. Uh, 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 <laughs> What can I say? I love the the crocodile fuck. What's his name? Uh, Vector the crocodile and Chimey the Bee and, and SBO the chameleon. I love those fuckers. I haven't seen him in forever. People call me crazy for liking Sonic Adventure. <laughs> it was like fucking really. No, the people I'm saying that's one of the good Sonic games. It's just everything after well, uh, possibly this. I mean, this is where it got kind of corny and and silly. But everything after this is a train wreck. <sighs> Except for some of the more recent ones. Like, Generations is okay by me. Yeah, take what you can get with Sonic, though. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I mean, it's the like series should have died like 10 years ago, but yeah, take what you can get. The faster it is, the better it is. <laughs> uh, except in the case of uh, Sonic Unleashed's DLC. Uh, okay, where is this motherfucking key? It's in my pants! Come get it, Roosh! Oh, Jesus. Oh, that Sonic director is a bit of a pervert, dude, isn't he? Dude, Rouge, Rouge, don't listen to her. D d dude, <laughs> don't listen to him. Just j just don't listen to him. I'm no, a terrible hey. influence. Hey, d j just don't listen to him. No, you you want to come home with me tonight to have a few drinks? <laughs> and then he told me to put on the pick nails. And it was awful. <laughs> And I just couldn't look at him the same way. And then, what? Oh, oh, uh, 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 seriously, uh, right there? Can I, uh, uh, oh my god! <laughs> wow, god. Eggman. You, you hit one of your keys literally right next to the door. <laughs> well, well, you know, you put a key under, under like a fake rock or under the rug or something like this. It's like, now I'll remember. How the fuck was that a rank B? Well, hey, more miracles next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure the Second. All right, maybe we'll finally get to some fun levels. Oh, not fucking likely. Okay, so here are just a few of the suggestions that I got that I kind of really like. Thanks again for all of them. I love you all, and I promise that you guys can name the next Chow. Deal? Deal. Okay, first off, from Riot Dragon X with Amit. 
or Amut, whatever. Named after an Egyptian god of death. Nice idea. Can't get wrong with Egyptian pantheon. Thanks, Riot. From Danny D Games. Name him Failure. Huh. You know, I actually didn't think of that. Seriously, never crossed my mind. Seven letters, it fits, and it's simple enough to get the point across. Huh. What do you know? Thanks, Danny. Name him Nagito, after everyone's favorite garbage can. Well, Ibuki, I'm not quite sure who you're talking about. The most common result I got is Nagito Kamaida from Danganronpa 2, but I haven't played Danganronpa 2 yet, so surely you must be talking about Nagito Shinomiya, renowned Japanese model and gay porn actor. Well, that's a good idea, but not quite the direction I want to take. Thanks anyway. And from random Kyoji, we have Bikar, which is hidden for worthless. Honestly, I kind of liked this one, so I was going to use it, but I went with my dumb name instead. Sorry about that, but hey, congrats, dude. Consider yourself the winner. But probably my absolute favorite was the one from John McClane 6194, with one that I actually considered using. It's really dirty, and I hesitated so much to go with this name, so I'll just have this one be the one that closes out this video. Okay, here goes. Comrag! <laughs> 